Unit 16, The Association of Southeast Asian Nations. Part A, Reading, page 172. The Association of Southeast Asian Nations, or ASEAN, was founded on the 8th of August, 1967, in Bangkok, Thailand, by the five original member countries, namely Indonesia, Malaysia, the Philippines, Singapore, and Thailand. Brunei joined ASEAN in 1984. Vietnam became its seventh member in 1995. Laos and Myanmar were admitted to this association in 1997 and Cambodia in 1999. The main goals of the association are to accelerate economic growth, social progress, and cultural development, and to promote peace and stability through respect for justice and the rule of law in the relationship between countries in the region. ASEAN has a population of 575 and a half million, accounting for about 8.7% of the world's population. Its total area is 4,464,322 square kilometers. It is a region of diverse cultures, and the people in some countries, such as the Philippines, Brunei, Malaysia, and Singapore, speak English besides their own languages. According to the statistics recorded in 2007, ASEAN had a combined gross domestic product about 1,282 billion U.S. dollars. This combined GDP grew at an average rate of around 6% per year from 2003 to 2007. The economies of the member countries are diverse, although its major products include electronic goods, oil, and wood. The governments of the ASEAN countries have paid special attention to trade. In 2006, the ASEAN region had a total trade of 1,405 billion U.S. dollars. It has been estimated that a free trade area would be established in the region by 2020. The ASEAN leaders have also adopted the ASEAN Vision 2020, which is aimed at forging closer economic integration within the region. The Hanoi Plan of Action, adopted in 1998, serves as a first in a series of planned actions leading up to the realization of the ASEAN vision. Today, ASEAN economic cooperation covers many areas, trade, investment, industry, services, finance, agriculture, rural development, forestry, energy, transportation and communication, science and technology, small and medium enterprises, and tourism. ASEAN has actively worked to improve the socio-economic situation and solve problems among its member countries. Task 1. Listen to the dialogue between Mr. Hume and his daughter Nya and choose the best answer, A, B, or C, to complete each of the following sentences. What are you doing? It's so late. Why don't you go to bed? I'm trying to finish my essay about the culture and religions of the Asian countries. I'll have to submit it to my teacher tomorrow. May I ask you something, Dad? Yes. What's that? Do you know how many people in Southeast Asia speak English? I'm not sure, but the Asian region has the third largest number of English speakers, just after the U.S. and U.K. Really? Exactly how many people speak English? Around 50 million, I think. Mostly in the Philippines. Do you know anything about religions? The Asian countries include three main religions. They are Islam, Buddhism, and Catholicism. What is Islam? A religion based on a belief in one God and the teaching of Muhammad. It's the religion of the Muslims. Can you tell me something more about the Muslims? It's an interesting question. The Asian countries have more Muslims than any other geopolitical entity. But how many Muslims, Dad? Oh, let me try to remember. 
about a quarter of a billion, mostly in Indonesia and Malaysia. And what about the other religions? Other main religions of the various countries in the region include large numbers of Buddhists and Catholics in the Philippines. What is the main religion in Vietnam? It's Buddhism. Many people go to pagodas. Well, and now I think I've got all the information I need for my essay. Thank you very much, Dad. Oh, that's all right. Finish your writing and go to bed. I'm afraid you'll get up late tomorrow morning. Part C, listening, page one hundred seventy-eight. Listen and repeat. Buddhist, Muslim, Catholic, God, geopolitical entity, predominantly. Part C, listening, page one hundred seventy-eight. Listen and repeat. Buddhist, Muslim, Catholic, God, geopolitical entity, predominantly. Part E, language focus, page one hundred eighty-one. Intonation, the rising falling tone. Practice reading these sentences with the rising falling tone. Notice. That prominent words are in capital letters. One, do you live in a house or in a flat? Two, is Jane a teacher or a student? Three, would you like some tea or coffee? Four, is the baby a boy or a girl? Five, shall we go by bus or by train? Six, is today Tuesday, or Wednesday? Seven, are you coming or not? Eight, is your sister older or younger than you? Nine, do you want to have lunch now, or wait till later? Ten, did Italy or Brazil win the World Cup? Test yourself, F. Page one hundred eighty-five. Listening. Listen and fill in the blanks with the information as you hear. UNESCO stands for the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. It was established on the sixteenth of November, nineteen forty-five, to encourage collaboration among nations in the areas of education, science, culture. And communication. UNESCO has 193 member nations as of 2007. The agency has its headquarters in Paris, France, and operates educational, scientific, and cultural programs and exchanges from 60 field offices worldwide. Projects sponsored by UNESCO include international science programs, literacy, technical and teacher training programs. Regional and cultural history projects, and international cooperation agreements to secure the world's cultural and natural heritage and to preserve human rights. Test yourself, F, page one hundred eighty-five. Listening. Listen and fill in the blanks with the information as you hear. UNESCO stands for the United Nations Educational, Scientific, and Cultural Organization. It was established on the 16th of November 1945 to encourage collaboration among nations in the areas of education, science, culture, and communication. UNESCO has 193 member nations as of 2007. The agency has its headquarters in Paris, France. And operates educational, scientific, and cultural programs and exchanges from 60 field offices worldwide. Projects sponsored by UNESCO include international science programs, literacy, technical and teacher training programs, regional and cultural history projects, 
and international cooperation agreements to secure the world's cultural and natural heritage and to preserve human rights.